Let's talk patterns in SolidWorks, specifically one of the more underutilized pattern tools, the sketch-driven pattern. Now this is an extremely powerful tool, but we find that a lot of people aren't taking advantage of it. So here in this video tech tip, we're going to show you all the picks and clicks needed to make a sketch-driven pattern in SolidWorks. So here is the part that we're going to use for this example. And I have a sketch-driven pattern already created. You'll see it here on the left-hand side on the tree. If I just roll the rollback bar forward, you'll see I have a sketch that consists only of points. And then I have my sketch-driven pattern that creates a pattern of the holes in a seemingly random pattern, but there's some uh, a method to it. It is actually using all of the sketch points to create the holes. So it's just a sketch and then the pattern and I'll go into this pattern here you see it it takes advantage of the sketch the feature and every single point where you place a sketch point it creates that pattern so I'll show you how I did that here all I did was started a sketch on this face and to really showcase the point here I'll just place three four five six points and it's gonna look for these points to place the feature. Now if I left this off in space here I might get an error because it can't actually cut that material there depending on how you had the feature created um, in terms of this hole that would work but here you know we're gonna make do something that makes sense and that would be placing all these points here on this face. Now this sketch only exists for the sketch driven pattern and I'll even give it a name. So this is my pattern sketch. The only purpose here of this sketch is to position the feature that I'm going to use for my pattern. Okay, so now to add the sketch driven pattern, we go up to our patterning group. We have all these other patterns that we can use, but for this example, we're going to use sketch driven pattern, and it is very easy. All you do is you pick this sketch, pick it from the tree, pick it graphically, doesn't matter because that sole purpose of that particular sketch was to place our feature. What feature? The holes. So I add the whole feature here to the property manager, hit OK, and now I have my patterned sketch, my sketch driven pattern. Okay, adding the holes to wherever I place that point. If I edit my sketch, you'll see the robustness of this. I can start to drag these around. I can even add more to it or remove some from it. And just like that, it rebuilds and I'm making my sketch driven pattern. So it's very powerful, extremely easy, just takes one sketch with the points in there and their sole purpose is to define the location of the pattern feature. And I hope this helps to help you take advantage of the sketch driven pattern in SOLIDWORKS.